I'm gonna start this video off by saying, I fucking love you. We have come so far. We have come so far. So, I'm starting this video off with an announcement, baby. I don't care how much work this is gonna take me. I don't care how much time this is gonna take me. But moving forward, I'm repaying this love back to you guys. I fucking love every single one of you guys. I wanna hear a spam in the comments of let's go if you guys are as hyped as I am for this. But moving forward, every single video on Trip Gaming is going to be vlog style videos, baby. Let's fucking go! Oh ho ho! So in today's video, I'm actually going to be playing in a remote dual tournament tonight. But uh, the question is, am I going to be playing Yugi's deck, which is obviously Pendulum's? Or am I going to be playing Jinzo's favorite deck, which is Elich? What deck should I play? Should I play Pendulum? Everyone knows Yugi played Pendulum's. Everyone knows this. And if you don't think so, have you even watched the anime? My next card is... That's what I thought. Pendulum's or Elich? This is a really tough choice. We'll play Pendulum, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Pendulum! Yeah! <laughs> you guys fell for that, you stupid fucks! I'm not playing Pendulum. Why would I want to play Pendulum? I'm on Elich now, boys. Let's go. We're going to be playing Elich. <laughs> I fucking got you. I got you. I got you in the chat. You fell for it. Elledge best deck, guys. What can I say? I think it's about time we retire pendulums, don't you guys think? I think in today's tournament, I'll play Elledge. Elledge might be the best deck. I think I'm going to be playing Elledge. Or maybe we go back to our roots. We're playing pendulums today, baby! Let's go! Fuck that lich! We'll play pendulum for real! Only chance play pendulum! You're a chance! I'm a chance! We're all a chance! Are you Electromite? Cause you're a Cloud Van Damn! You the best deck, baby! Let's go! Pendulum all day! Fuck out, Elich! Fuck every other deck! This ain't no alarm! We are playing pendulums! In today's remote dual tournament, we going back to the roots! Let's go! So since it's already been mathematically deciphered that Pendulum is the best deck of all time, cause I fucking said so, then that leaves us no choice other than to play the best deck of all time Pendulum. So in today's video, I'll be taking Pendulum and winning a remote dual tournament with it, and that's it. But, before we do that, everyone knows, even you ask Yugi, yo Yugi, can I put a 5 negates in an empty stomach? I, you can't. You can't. It's impossible. So before we go clap these bums tonight, I'm gonna go get some food from Tim Hortons. And then after that, we're gonna get a chest pump, baby! Let's go! And then after that, I'm gonna clap every bum on Dueling Book in practice for the tournament tonight. We have roughly a few hours to go until the tournament starts. And then after we clap those bombs, we're gonna clap real life bombs on Remote Duel. And then we're gonna also have a guest star on today's video where we're gonna test against from another YouTube channel. So I guess you guys have to wait till then. I will also, after all that, I will be showcasing you guys a deck profile live on the best way to play Pendulums, this format. So if you guys are excited for this, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, I want you guys to smash the like button, and I want you guys to drink some water because we should all stay hydrated. So let's get started. All right, Yugi, have a good one. Uh, Jinzo, yeah, fuck you. All right, let's go. So before we get started on this pendulum domination, I gotta go get myself some Tim Hortons. If you know what Tim Hortons is, you're already a legend by default. Because everyone knows you can't put a five negates without an empty stomach and without a chest pump. Everyone knows this. This guy is not about to cut me off. Oh, they're letting me through. Okay, good guy. Good guy's letting me through. He better let me through. If he doesn't let me through, I'm gonna whoop his ass. No, I'm joking, we're Canadian. We're like, you know, we don't whoop people's ass. We, uh, we pay for each other's meals. Oh, uh, hey, can I get a grilled chicken wrap, please? Grilled chicken wrap? Yes, please. That's everything? Oh, that's everything. Thank you. 
I cannot wait for tonight. Tonight is gonna be epic. I'm, I can't wait. Hello. Yeah, just go out and so can I also uh, take care of the person behind me's order? Thank you, Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Hope they have a nice day. Maybe later today. Maybe they'll uh, they'll they'll take care of someone else's coffee. complete baby i feel like a fucking beast ready to take on the universe and conquer the day so now we finally got some Yu-Gi-Oh! i'm hyped for this we're gonna play some tested games and then after that we're taking punch up to a tournament and winning it all life of a duelist baby let's go let's go baby we're back home ready to duel now so i'll be doing a remote duel local tonight with pendulums and I'll be testing my list a little bit on dueling book and then we're gonna go straight into the tournament and clap these guys so if you guys are ready it's time boys it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for it is time to destroy anyone that comes in our path with pendulums let's go Oh my god! Did you see that? Did you see that? Was I the only one who saw that? I have six cards in my hand. I have five, six negates. Oh my god, bro. Pendulum is back. Pendulum's the best fucking deck, bro. And today, we're gonna destroy everyone with this. I'm so excited. I'm so hyped for this. Who knew heaven was a place on earth? So, we're gonna go hop right into Twitch right now. You guys see it? We're playing 60 card greatness, but there's math behind it. This deck is fucking insane. We put every single sick pendulum engine together in the same deck. And I'll explain right now why 60 cards and pendulums is okay. Pendulums is not like any other deck. In Tri Brigade, if you play 60 card Tri Brigade, you're fucked. Tri Brigade only has like three good cards. Fractal. But Pendulum is different. They're all scales. Pendulum is the only deck that has like 17 archetypes combined in one. Hence, fourth, witness the greatness of every single Pendulum great card together. You'll always have scales and it gives more variance in the deck so you don't draw the same cards. We're hopping in right now. Our first duel will be on Dueling Book. We're going to test this deck out. And after that, we're going straight to Twitch uh, to play Remote Duels. So let's get it, guys. Look at, I mean, just look at that shit. Six cards in hand, full scales. How many cards do you have in total? Five, six, seven, eight, 13 cards. It's a plus eight. Tri Brigade end on a fucking neg one. We end on a plus eight. Pen best deck. Let's go. Let's get the show on the road. Let's get the show on the road. Who's excited? Hey, we lost the dice roll. That's all right. That's all right. We lost the dice roll game one. I think he's playing Mermails. My hand, insane as always, obviously. So we'll see how we could pull out on top here. Because my hand's getting looped. I, I called I called it. I called it. I called it. I called it. He's playing Mermails. I called it, bro. Pendulum only. Fuck a lich. In fact... We're playing a remote duel locals in one hour. Let's go. I gotta get the pen cards out. Am I the pen god or the zombie god? Look, look at this. See this trap cards? I don't need those. I don't need those. I don't need those. The only cards, the only cards I need, the only cards I need is right here. These, my friends, these are the only cards that we go need today. Oh, Ellen's cards. Are you guys sad here on the floor? Well, how about grow some scales? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Yep, that's my bad. And I definitely don't want to get banned. Bro, that was the fastest judge call I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was the fastest judge call. The judge call was at 452. And the judge came at 507. Legend, we lose this one. We, we can't play through that. Well done from his end. 
Let's go! Let's go! No troll! <laughs> oh yes! This is what we want to see. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Let's go, Lord. Draw. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 This don't get better. All right. Next, we go Duelist Alliance to search none other than perform pa Pendulum Sorcerer. Next. We protect with Servant of Indeed. This, this deck's insane. This deck is after this after this duel. I think maybe we'll do one more duel, and I'm gonna prepare my deck for the for the tournament because I'm lucky in my hand right now. And my if I don't my hand's insane. If I don't get hand looped, I'm just winning every duel. I'm playing through interruptions like like nothing. We got the jackal up to protect, so we're good here. Next, I think we let that go to the grave. Now we go pen call. Broken. We get ourselves purple poison. We get ourselves harmonizing. We now put three counters. Because we're, we're sick. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I'm so sorry what's about to happen to this guy. Like, I literally have Joker in my hand now. Oh my god. I, I, did I normal? I literally didn't normal summon. That's insane. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What do we add? I'm literally about to add Time Gazer. Literally never before done in history. I'm, I'm adding Time Gazer. Activate the effect. Special. Effect. Scale. Activate the lore. Lag, hello. Pengineer to Pen God. Let's go, Voltra. You a legend. Oh my god, lag. Bro, dueling book is so trash. I cannot wait on Wednesday for it's official for Canadian stores to be able to play. Oh my god, this is actually the worst lag ever. Can I please like just play Yu-Gi-Oh? This is all I ask. I just wanna put up is it all am I allowed to put up 10 negates on people? My hand is literally the most broken hand ever. This is like a billion negates. Can you like let me live my life, dueling book? Just let me let me duel. What's what's wrong? What's wrong, dueling book? What have I ever done wrong to you? I've played on dueling. I've even played on your cousin dueling network. What's wrong, bro? Both of my accounts, literally both of my accounts, reconnected. I know why, dueling book stopped working. Because my hand was so fucking broken. It was too much power for this shit website to handle. It just overloaded the fucking whole network. And it's the only way to stop me. That's it. It's just a fact. So as far as I'm concerned, our deck is ready for the Ramoto tournament. If our deck was so powerful, our deck was more so powerful... That it turned down dueling, it literally shut off dueling book. If it was that powerful, don't you think it'll be enough to win a locals? I think it'll be enough to win a locals if it was so powerful enough to literally shut down the entire website. Dueling book was an easy clap, all right? Easy clap. It was, our deck was so broken, it shut down the whole site. So next, we're going to go play crush cards on remote duel and hopefully Discord will have better luck. So let's get straight into it. The tourney starts in one hour. So this will be our last practice before the tourney. Good luck to crush cards. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys. I want everyone in the chat right now to spam. Let's go. And you guys are hyped. Trip versus crush cards right now. Right here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You guys hyped for this? Let's go. All right. Who am I dueling? Both of you at the same time? Brian or Logan? Bri all right, Brian, let's do this, brother. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, let me flip. Let me get my dice. All right, I only have one dice, so we'll do a high roll. Do one, yeah, let's do it. All right. Yes, I got one. Let's go. I got two. All right, all right. So would you like to go first or second? I'll take first. I'll go with the cut. 
Uh, hop is fine, and for me? Hop is also fine. All right. Good luck. There's my five. Good luck. I'm going to put the lights on. Uh, send my main is fine. Hard drops over pussies go off. Two. Yep. Am I mean? Mastery? Yep. Resolution? You have nothing on resolution. You have nothing. <laughs> you have nothing. No way. Let's go. Oh, Brian gave me heart attacks out here. All right, so next, uh, so I'll activate this here. So this is no imperm column, right, for you? Uh, it's over here. So, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. there. Okay, okay, good. Uh, and then after that, I'll go secrets. Okay. The end is near, my friend. Sure. Normal summon effect? Yep. Yeah, I'm searching for one that was in a big deck. <laughs> You'll be seeing these a lot when you uh come when you guys come to visit. This is yeah. called Canadian nickels. <laughs> well, Canadian you won't actually see them because no one actually pays with change. But I have these for counters. I can't wait to come. <laughs> and then I'll activate the knowledge. Fine. I'll draw two. Uh, wait. I should. Why should I have so many cards in hand? Oh, it's because Pendulum best deck. Okay, understood. Uh, my next play, I'll go goods. Yep. And then I'll go. I said metal holes fusion. Metal holes fusion is pretty sick in Pendulum. Cause I could just like. I'm playing Pendulum Call as well, so if I hard draw it, I just like pen call it. Fusion's actually a really good card in a ton of decks. Yeah. And now, the moment of truth. Right. Three counters on Servant of Endymion. I would like sure. to activate the effect of Servant of Endymion. Response? Uh, um, I'll be so sick to a Cosmic. I will fuck it. Oh, God. Nah. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, Nivska, thank you so much for the raid. And guys, make sure to go give Crush Cards a follow because they're streaming on Twitch from now on. Now the moment of truth. Do we play around traps? I know you have hand traps in there for a fact. Probably playing pure. I don't even know what you're playing. Probably pure zoo. Um, sorry, I have to think here. I'll have to go with Master. Summon it? Sure. Next play, I go for Zephyr Providence. I'll get Oracle of Zephyroth. Activate. Sure. I'll get Zephyroth. I'll scale yeah. Zephyroth. Sure. Um, I'll use Zephyroth. Move camera more in the middle. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that as a as this is done. Max, are we going with pen call? Discard pen call. Sure. I know there's a strike under there. <laughs> you know nothing. 
I know nothing. Hey, I guess we'll I guess we'll just have to figure out duelist. There's only one way to know if there's a strike down there. And that's the fucking pen summon. Before that I will allure. Alright, let's draw let's draw an extender. That would be very nice. And then at resolution, how many cards are in hand? I have four. Four? Okay. I'll scale purple poison. Uh, can you bring me poison's pendulum effect? Yeah, uh, whenever a dark spellcaster attacks, I could destroy it. It'll gain 1200 because I'm under pen call. This turn, it can't get destroyed. This turn okay. and your turn, it can only boost 1200 attack. Okay. I'll enter battle. Ooh, I'll attack for 900. I'll take 9. I'll attack for 4000 with poison effect. Uh, thinking. That's fine. Uh, so in total you're taking 4900, so you're at 31. Yes. Main phase 2. Sure. I'll pendulum Zephyr Nui. 1. I'll use its effect. Uh, we'll strike this one. Yep. So 49 and 15, that is 64, so you'll be at 1600. Yep. I am regretting not playing pendulum graphs right now, that would be insane. Uh, I'll have to pass my turn. Pass? Yep. Thinking. That's fine. Uh, drop a turn? Yep. Stay my main? Yep. Uh, so you have, currently that I know of, the Endymion, correct? Uh, on my, in my hand, you know nothing. No, you know, you know Harmonizing in my hand. I did, so I, interruption wise, it's just the Endymion, Oh yeah, correct? interruption, just Endymion, and poison for an extra 1200 boost of attack, that's it. Uh, I'm going to activate Infirm to target the Endymion. Uh, you can't target it, because it has a counter on it. Alright, then we will activate Forbidden Droplets, send yeah. <laughs> That you could do. <laughs> Uh, thinking. Uh, you send a trap. Uh, cards in hand three, right? Three, correct. All right, I'm sensing uh, Zeus here. Um, I'll use Master Effect, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce Servant to my hand. Yeah, I'll bounce Servant to my hand, and uh, Effect is fine. It will lose its counters. Okay. So what do you have currently that is known at this point? Uh, in my hand, I have Servant and Harmo. I have two unknowns in my hand. And, and I have no interruptions other than Purple Poison gaining 1200. And so I have uh, Zephyr Providence in my graveyard to protect uh, Zephyrath, and that's all you know. Okay, uh, I'm going to activate the engine. Yep. Good. Go figure, guys! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's good. Still had to play it safe, couldn't take a risk. Is rat? Yep. Uh, it's time to send one more rat. Yep. We're back to rat. Yep. Send our light? Yep. Cut in half cool? Yep. Yep. Proceed to battle phase. Battle phase is fine. Attack drop to zero. Uh, yep. Main phase two. Yep. Sagging order? Yep. Target line? Yep. And Zeus? Yep. What a guy. Uh, I mean... I forgot Tanky was up, so it's technically 100. Do you give a shit? No, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take 100. Hundo. Uh, they get it. Uh, and then I'm gonna attempt to activate Zeus. Yep. And it has, uh, it'll have two materials after this, right? Yes. Cool. Okay. Thinking. I will set one. Yep. One in hand, I'll pass turn. Draw. Scale server? Sure. 
Uh, uh, over here. I'll, I'll use those lines. Yep. Oh, I'm fucking sick. I drew my only target just now. I'm sick. Alright, I will... Scale. Anything. Sure. Card in hand? I have three. Three. I'll see. Metal Force Fusion. Sure. Part of the cards. Oh god, special souls. <laughs> Let's go, baby! That was insane! What a draw! Let's go! Alright. Now for the real heart of the cards. Fact for two. Yeah. A low scale, please. Into the void. Okay. All right, now a big thing. I'm a blue boy, sir. Sure. So you're at 1600, right? I'm at 15. Nightmare Cerberus, destroy, attack for game! Let's go! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a comeback attack! Let's go! Yo, chat, let's go! I don't know what play server is. I put it, I put it in because I didn't have Savage Dragon. Oh my god! Yo! Bro, that was the luckiest top deck ever. <laughs> Souls, you know the only card in my deck that's an inherent special is just Souls? Souls was literally the only card in my deck that could have saved me there. No other card. So you guys saw we had the most insane comeback that game. We did end up losing the match. I cannot show every game and match we play on today's on today's stream and today's video because it's gonna be it's gonna be a 20 hour video. we I've been playing all day. So well I'm gonna showcase now. This is gonna be round three of the tournament. Uh, before we get into the tournaments just started, we're one and one. We bricked against Drytron round two, but this is fine. We win out the next two, and we still are in a great position to top two, top three, top four, something like that. And we still win some sick prizing. So now I'm going to showcase the most insane, insane replay of the craziest comeback. I'm going second against Alter Guys for this one. And I lose the dice roll. I'm facing off. Three Solemns, bro. He sets five. He goes extravagant set five. Marionetter. Protocol. Tr three Solemns. Like, I don't know how the fuck I came out of this. But this is an incredible match for anyone trying to learn better at Yu-Gi-Oh. So, stay tuned for this. And watch how absolutely insane this replay is. So, you yeah, got four. Okay. Five or six, baby. Let's go. Ah, tied. Tied. Very roll. roll time. I like going up. Three. All right, let's go, guys. Four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> hey, I'll go first. Cool. How do you want me to... Uh, you can do half and five. What about for me? Uh, I have time. Cool. All right. Good luck, brother. Good luck, Lewis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right. 
I'm going to have an assertive, exciting turn one. Nice. Stand by me. Yes. Pot of X-Trap. X-Trap is fine. That resolves. Don't ever look at the bash. Don't want to know what's... Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right. I'm going to normal summon Marionetter. Oh, Ultra Guys. Next, yeah, effect is good. You know, you know, Doug Z got me back in the game. Got to pay some respects. Let's go. Paying homage to the Ultra Guys go. Yeah. Gonna get protocol. Yep. Half cut fine. Yep. All right. And then I'm gonna set one, yep. two, three, four. <laughs> so I have five sets. I love it. I love facing trap decks because they're so, uh, uh, like, <laughs> I, I actually love it because it's so like, like, actual. It's like actual Yu-Gi-Oh. Like every tr interaction is important. Yeah. So fun. It, no, that's that's this helps me like get back into the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm good to draw. Sure. Cool. And then on standby phase. Yep. Spoofing. I'm gonna activate spoofing. Yep. I'm gonna return this back to my deck. Yep. Am I allowed to uh, search for a card? Yep. That's good. Okay. Someone in the chat's like, "Triff, you're trolling." No, like I just facts. I love trap decks are very. It's fun to play. Like. I don't know. I just I personally enjoy face dueling against drop decks. Uh, I know some some people some again. people hate it, but I actually enjoy it. Uh, yeah, the effect, both effects are fine. Okay. I know there's a bunch of trap decks here. Too. Well, I, I saw that Pack was playing DA. Yeah, I was I was playing Elish for the longest time. I was gonna play it today until I decided to play the best fucking deck in the planet instead. So. You already have that. Uh, yeah, yeah, half cut's good for the whole match. Okay. All right, I'm um, good to go main phase. Yep, yep. All right, so I'm gonna start my turn with normal summoning magical doctor. Well, uh, effect because uh. Uh, wh whenever it gets, what... yeah, whenever it gets three spell counters, I can remove three from it, and I could add a level one spell caster from my deck to my hand. That is fine on summon. I'm gonna activate protocol with no effect. Yep. Uh, next, I'll scale Magical Abductor. Same card. Okay. The, the scale effect is I could remove when it gets three spell counters on it. I could remove them to add a pendulum from my deck to my hand. It's fine. All right. Next, I will go. I'll scale Chronograph Sorcerer. Chronograph. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Anything on res? Um. Okay. So, what is the Chronograph uh, scale? Uh, this is three and this is eight. And then when there's... No, I meant, like, the scale effect. Oh, the effect. I could destroy it to special summon a Time Gazer Magician from my deck uh, to the field. It basically specials a, a spellcaster from my deck, basically. But yeah. I would have to destroy it if I did that. Um, so it's, that's, it's like, that's it's not fine. a plus one. It's just, like, one for one, kind of. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll use this effect to uh, special one. Yep. And then what I'm going to do on the resolution of that, I'm going to activate Chronograph Sorcerer from my hand. The effect, the monster effect of this is whenever a card is destroyed, I could special summon it from my hand whenever one of my cards are destroyed. So since Chronograph was destroyed, I could special this card as well as one spellcaster from my hand if I want to. So it specials itself as well as one spellcaster from my hand if I want to. And uh, so are you specially one or are you specially two? Uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't declare until the effect is successful. So like I, I don't okay. declare how much it just happens after. So you'll have, if you want to negate it, you'll have to do so without knowing. I'll do protocol sending Mary and Edder. And I'll negate it and destroy it. That's fine. Next. I'll activate Spellfire Mastery. This lets me add a 
uh, Endymion from my deck in my hand. That's fine. I'll have Mighty Master. And then the fact is Power Mastery. I put two counters on a card I want, and one on the other. Yep. Next, I'll use the uh, Monster Effect. No, I'll use the Scale Effect of Magical Abductor. I remove the three counters it has. It lets me add a Pendulum from my deck in my hand. That's okay. That's fine. It resolves. Uh, now thinking on my add. That doesn't help the shot. That helps a little bit. You have no cards in hand, right? Nope. Cool. I'll add Dark Horse. I, I usually have like a die sitting on. Oh, yeah. If I do. Cool. And then next, I will. I'll use the effect of Magical Abductor to add a level 1 spellcaster. That's okay. Yep, that's fine. Odd souls. Next, I'll go into the new Electromite. Prowly. Yeah. Effect. It lets me add a. Yeah. It's a, sorry. A spell book, right? Yeah, it lets me add a spell book. Yeah, and I have it normal. No, I have normal. Yeah. Uh, so let me get them out. Uh, it does so randomly. So it's actually just doing a good shuffle. All right. Now you pick one at random, and it goes to my hand. Oh. The other two to my deck. The middle one, if that's okay. Cool. So use protocol. You have three left, three traps, and you have silk. Okay. What's up? Sorry, one more time. Oh, uh, just uh, talking to myself basically. So I wanted to see what oh, you had. No, what okay. you had left. You're fine. The next, I think here. Very big thing. I will I'll use knowledge on Crowley. Yep. So let me draw two. Next, I'll use mm -hmm. Duelist Alliance. Yeah, that's fine. Resolves. Thinking. Searching the pendulum graph. Next, I'll use pen call dark one. Yeah. Celestial Magician. This will be a three. Now I'll use the effect of Dark Room in the graveyard to special summon itself. Uh, that's fine. I'll use its effect to add gate uh, gate zero. Is that okay? Yeah, zero is fine.
thinking. All into battle phase. Um, on battle phase, yep. I'll bounce the dark worm and bounce the multi taker. Yep. And this is still a multi taker. Right? Yep. And now I'll go to main phase two. Yep. And. Thinking. Scale harmonizing. Have to have a strike down there. Just thinking. Yeah, I'll pendulum three. And I will solemn strike that. Uh, the fact that Pearl Poison will resolve uh, when it gets destroyed, even if the success will not summon to destroy face of card. And I'll. You, uh, that's fine. Yeah, and I'll use it to destroy. Spoofing. Okay. Nico is gone. I'll set one, and I'll pass to you. Okay, I will draw one. Yep. And then, um, stay in my, on stay in my face, I'm like, oh shit, I can't activate spoofing. <laughs> Bro, spoofing's so fucking good. Like, I don't think it gets enough credit. It's actually so yeah. insane. Because if you don't use it, end phase, swap over Bro, to your starter. It's too or much. If, you're, yeah. if you hit battle phase, spoofing, move over to your battle phase negator. Yeah, it's too much. I specifically made sure to play that hand out where I could get rid of spoofing, even if you striked. Yeah. Okay, so then I will do big thing. Uh, one sec, this to my chat. Yo, chat, sorry, I mirrored my screen. Uh, this is my graveyard, sorry. Okay, you're, you're good to okay. continue. My stuff is face up, right? Like this is my right column. Yeah, yeah. Just on my stream, I had to mirror. I mirrored myself to make it look uh, normal. I'll fix that later. But yeah, for, for us, it's perfect. Okay. Um, I will just. You have no monsters, right? I have no monsters. I'm gonna swap him to attack and then ping for eight hundred. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. And then that'll be all. Uh, on your end phase, I'll use yep. pen graph. I'll use it to pop my harmonizing to pop uh, your set over here. Uh, so this one? Yeah, that one, yeah. Okay, that's fine. And then Pops. the effect of pen graph will resolve because I pen called. Harmonizing doesn't get destroyed. It'll also destroy another card you control, so I'll destroy your other set. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm really. The whole, reason, the whole reason I built the deck is because I picked up a set of Solemn Judgments. Hey, well, the ghost is beautiful. Uh, yo, I'm so <laughs> proud of myself. I'm actually about to beat uh, Spoofing, Double Strike, Solemn, Baker, Protocol. Oh my god. <laughs> Pen best deck. Okay, uh, I'll draw. Yeah, go ahead. And now, uh, Standby Main is fine. Yeah. I'll use Abductor to add. It has four counters. I'll move three. Response. Uh, no, that's fine. Cool. I will add Zephyr Nui. Yep. Next. Oh, yeah, that's there. Next, I'll activate Dark Room from Graveyard. The special yep. summon. Next, I'll have to think. What? You for sure have game, right? Absolutely. Like I, I'll show you my hand. I'm a, I'm gonna do it in a surgical way <laughs> to remove your cards and access code and game with Jackal. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. fine. Let's go to game two. Okay, yeah, DG. <laughs> my hand was so cracked. You you guys saw that right? You guys saw that comeback? That's insane! I did everything to set up Pendulum Graph.
it's not about breaking the board right away. It's about winning the duel. That's what the whole, well, that's all Yu-Gi-Oh is about. So I made sure to bait as many traps as I can. I made sure to keep Darkworm in the graveyard. And I made sure to also get rid of everything I can and follow up with Pendulum Graph. And I did exactly that. So now this is going to be the final match. If we win this final match, we end up around top three-ish, second, third, or fourth, something like that. We come home with some sick prizing with the best fucking deck in the world. So I'm going to actually commentate this one. Past Triff Gaming won't be there for this one. It'll be new Triff Gaming. So I'm going to commentate the last round. If we win this, we, we make it all the way to the top, baby. Let's go. So as you guys see here, this is Past Triff Gaming. I'm eating some sushi on stream. I already know I'm going to win. This is easy. We're playing the best deck against El Lich Live Twin. Now, I know you guys know I love El Lich and Live Twins, but it's no match for the best deck. So we're going to... I know everything's backwards, by the way. I'll fix that in the future. But we go straight with Zephyrath. What you guys are about to witness here is something that happens all the time. So my opponent is not that familiar with Zephyrath. Who is? No one's familiar with the best deck. It's insane. So what he does is he conks my Zephyrath before I activate the effect. Take advantage of this, guys. Take advantage of duelists that aren't 100% aware of what your pendulum cards do. Because not many people do. So in this scenario, if you guys look at the board, what would you say is the scariest thing? I would say the scariest thing that, that he has is nothing just a gigantic board but how are you gonna out this huge board right the way you out this board is called mighty master i have no mighty master in my hand so what i do here i just search for another zephyr i had so many draw away pardon that over there but we're just, we're just drawing away here we're drawing away we're drawing all the insane cards in our deck and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack jack with as many counters as we possibly humanly can I'm going to make sure to resolve Harmonizing for Time Star eventually when I get it. I scale the Chronograph. I use Zephyroth to send a, le a level 1. So I sent the, le the level 1 instead of Zephyr Nui because I had no low scale. I Pendulum the Harmonizing. I use the effect to Chain Block and to free up my scale. Harmonizing is going to go into Time Star here to search for what? Not Souls. No, no, no. W guys, you know, you know what I'm searching for? I'm searching for Mighty Master. I purposely cleared my scale with the effect of... Zephyra to make sure it's free and then on top of that i'm going to go into selene over here to make sure i get a completely free everything uh, a free selene here so i can pop extra cards and i know he has nothing i know the last card is set i already know that and i know the card in hand i, I could negate with jackal so here i'm just going to simply scale the mighty master blow up the entire board surgical bro like a fucking doctor like a doctor bro call me dr fucking triff bro dr negate baby doctor clear up your board dr penbez deck that's it. And then I just get a free Ado Celestia. I go into Axis Code. And even though that card can't be destroyed by effects that he has, the Golden Lord, I have more than enough damage here just by simply entering the battle phase and attacking even over a 3,500 attack guy. Pendulum best deck. We just fucking finished it. We won. But we lost to the one Drytron player that we lost dice roll to and bricked against. But that's all good because we're in the top four, baby. Let's go. We finished with at third place. Not the best record. I always want to finish first. But considering that we started off a little rocky, where we bricked and lost the dice roll to Drytron, which is the only deck this meta that we can't win without side decking, is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. That's fine. At the end of the day, third place with 60 cards, Zephyr, Magician, and Demian. I love our deck, and I love, I love the whole day today. I love vlogging and playing Pendulums. I love it. So if you guys love this style of video as well. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Let me know down below if you guys like and want to see more. Because I would love to do plenty more videos like this. I really want my next vlog to take this deck to the next level. And perhaps enter an extravaganza with this. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do much vlogging and extravaganza. But real life events are back. And maybe the next event, the next vlog we do is going to be playing in real life with this exact same deck. So I'm very excited for that. If you guys are excited for it, let me know in the comments. And with that being said, thank you guys for coming to the video. Thank you guys for coming to the vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Life as a Duelist. Let's go!